Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to read from the book of Lamentations, chapter 1, verses 10 through 13. Here's our reading. The adversary has spread his hand over all her pleasant things, for she has seen the nations enter her sanctuary, those whom you commanded not to enter your assembly. All her people sigh, they seek bread. They have given their valuables for food to restore life. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am scorned. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Behold and see, if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which has been brought on me, which the Lord has inflicted in the day of his fierce anger. From above he has sent fire into my bones, and it has overpowered them. He has spread a net for my feet and turned me back. He has made me desolate and faint all the day. Sounds like, you know, everything's against you. But again, as we've been noticing, looking at the Lamentations, this is where the people, the last pieces of Judah, begin to actually uh, come back to a space of repentance. So notice again these different pieces as we're looking at this. For God to get his people's heart right, he's even willing to have them defile the sanctuary. I mean, that's, that's how intense God is about helping us to, be, to turn to him, to be in his kingdom. He's even willing to have the sanctuary defiled. But instead, these people, you know, instead of turning to him, now they're out just looking for food. They're just looking for something they can eat. They're really, it's, they've really gone from uh, selling on these uh, high places. Everything's going wonderfully. Uh, we have the best cookies, you know. Now they're just barely trying to get something to eat. Is there any sorrow like my sorrow, asks Jeremiah, as he personifies in his, in his prophecies here, his lamentations the feeling of the kingdom of Judah, what's left of it here. But the, I think the most important piece that we have here is this recognition, especially in the last verse 12 and 13, the Lord has inflicted it. This is from the Lord. God has done this. That's very important. It's not that he's all against you. It's that he is for you. He's taken a, a close interest. He's trying to, to come close to people. He's trying to get them to come close. He wants people to come to that place where they where repent and he can give his blessing upon them. God, you'd think that he would hold his nose and step back and, and depart from his people because of their sin. But what he's trying to do is trying to get them engaged. He's actually stepping forward and coming closer to his people because he wants us in the kingdom. He's going to pay a very high price, whatever high price it takes just about, to get us in the kingdom. So we want to be thankful that God is so willing, even though it, it hurts, it's needful because the people have been uh, filled with apostasy and iniquity. So God's trying to come close. I love that right here in our reading today. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we take courage because you have not abandoned your people. Thank you that you did not abandon them even in the day and the age of Jeremiah. So we are thankful, Lord, that you are working for your people, even though they are at a point of pain like they've never quite experienced. So we're going to watch and see, Lord, what happens in the book of Lamentations. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So in your day, if God, through his Spirit, speaks to you through your conscience— and shows you some things that you need to be adjusting to be right with him, don't be, don't be offended. Be glad, because the God of heaven is, is reaching down into your heart to, to bring you up toward him. He has not abandoned you. And with that thought, have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.